It's a very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, a quick celebrity pop-up for you, just to say hi and see how you're all doing. Now, it's just to touch base with everybody. We popped up earlier and had a fantastic fantastic time so there we are tremendous but i thought to myself i know it's a bit late but i shall pop up see how everybody's doing and just wish everybody well a very very interesting evening and of course there was a big interview on the television tonight and uh, i watched that as well i didn't want to compete with it in case you were all watching it but i thought to myself no no we'll uh, we'll have a look at it and then we can see what's what and then you know what people are talking about liam's joined us dinky do liam lovely to have you with us and a very very warm welcome from scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet the world's top broadcaster and we're on the world's top platform for streaming TikTok, I say. Welcome, welcome. All right, pals, says Liam. Hello, Liam. Hello, Scotty, says Thomas. Dinky do, Thomas. Lovely to have you with us and welcome, welcome, welcome. What an amazing evening. Absolutely. Now, do let me know if you uh, saw the interview. Fantastic stuff, Dinky do. And let us know what is what. You're a legend. See you on the 15th, says Calvin. Excellent. Good, good. Uh, you are a legend, says. Sting, thank you. Yes, Radio Legend is on, says Amin. Just to say hi, though, I won't keep you all. Hi from East Coast Bride, says Haley. Miss your man, says Calvin. Top man, Calvin. Uh, can I have some, Andrew? I'm sure you can. I don't have any here. So there we are. Fantastic. Dinky do. Do uh, come and join us, and we'll have a wee evening blether just before everybody pushes off towards the bed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, where are you from, says Haley? I am from TikTok, Haley. We're live on TikTok and we're streaming there. I'm from Scotland, of course. So there we go. Now, uh, CHX, don't start the nonsense. I'm sad now, says Macca. Why are you sad, Macca? Sam Dinky Do, top man. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome. And uh, guys, do follow me, of course. Very, very important because we're building something very very big on here, which is amazing. I mean, I've only been popping up for uh, what a few days now, and uh, the success is absolutely incredible. Are you from Tennessee? No, but I can do the Tennessee waltz. So there we are. Fantastic. Any fash in the rivers doing your way, says Thomas Free Buchan. Thank you to his Becky. Here she comes. Fantastic. Nope, not working. Oh, what a shame. There we are. That's not working. So there we are. You're on Top Lives. How amazing. That is fantastic. I don't know about Top Lives. Is that um, tremendous? Fantastic. There we are. We seem to be having a little bit of a problem there. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And uh, anyway, that's just what you have to deal with, isn't it? Hello, Algen, says David. Hello, Algen. Are you all right, Algen? Aussie says, hello, how are you tonight? Whereabouts in Scotland from the West Coast? That's good, Scotty. Yes, absolutely. Hello from Sweden, says Sangin from Svenska. Lovely to have you with us. I stand corrected. Thanks, moderator. I'll move on. Absolutely ex dangerous. Nothing to see here for you. Hello from Doha, says uh, Mr. Harris. Dinky do and love to Doha. We like it. It's fantastic that we are going out around the world as we speak. You're on at this time. What did you think of the interview? Actually, I thought it was amazing. I thought they were very frank. And, uh, you know, I mean, wouldn't it be incredible, though, if Oprah, uh, you know, interviewed maybe her father or the Queen or, or uh, Harry's father, that sort of thing. Do a duel with Lee Sutherland sometimes, Scotty. Hey, Scottish, says Angie. Thank you, Angie. Lovely to have you with us. I won't be long tonight, guys. Just a quick pop-up to see all of you and see what you thought about the interview. Fantastic. Had to go somewhere else, see you. Hello, Scotty. How are you? 
screen. So there we are. My motorbike battery just went flat. I had to run to start it. I understand, Ross. I used to have one. So there we are. Uh, excellent, Kareem. Very good of you to stay up. It's quite late, half past 11. So there we are. Our father's on GMTV tomorrow, Scotty. Wow, Thomas. We shall watch all this unfold. It's very, very interesting. Uh, N. Harrison, do you think the monarchy is racist? No, I don't think so. I think people make too much of racism nowadays. You see, we shouldn't have racism at tall because there is only one race the human race so you know we need to just you know sort of start to flow all that out in the right direction uh, i think it was the new hand warmers i just got very good ross absolutely uh, dylan you're on the wrong place completely for that kind of junk okay you get back to some of your simple stuff maybe try and finish your two-piece jigsaw there we are do you think history is repeating itself do you know kevin uh, i don't think it will Thankfully, thank God, but I was slightly anxious when I just sort of heard of it. And I think it's a very, very tough gig. Very few people understand it. And I've posted a one minute video on TikTok about the monarchy, what it's about. When things have been frosty with Charles, wondering if it was him who says, well, we don't know. We're not going to even go there. Whatever said, he said, she said, you know, that's not the thing. Pretty man, says some of my thank you. What's your favorite board game? Well, do you know, I'm actually mentioned in Trivial Pursuits. I'm one of the questions. I feel sorry for Harry. Uh, yes, I mean, I think he's, he's had a tough time and it's called a family thomas has got it right just typical family life to be honest absolutely auntie mary's no speaking to auntie Jeannie because she said such and such omg says perpetually all families have their problems of course but what we mustn't forget is that we have our royal family because they are the curators and custodians of the crown, and that's our symbol of authority. In America, it's a flag. Megan is pretty. Um, so there we are. I'm from the west side of Scotland. So are we, Aussie. We're on there in the west of Scotland. I think now things will slow down for Harry so they can move on. I hope so, Kareem. Yes, he seems like a nice guy. So there it goes. How's it going, man? Uh, very good, Isaac. Thank you. Hello, Ziggy Dinky. <laughs> Fantastic. Scotty McClue popping up for you. Bit late tonight. I'm off to bed. Good night. Jason, good night. You sleep well and stay fabulous. Okay, there it goes. We'll all be off to bed in a bit. We're just having a bit of chit chat. I'm from Fort William, says Ozzy. We love Fort William. I used to walk my dog up Ben Nevis. There we are. They wanted privacy, but did their washing in public? No, Thomas. Totally unconnected. <coughs> totally unconnected. Privacy means somebody not shoving a camera in your face when you're, you know, going about your, your daily business. That's privacy. So it's a different thing. Think about it. Put yourself in the situation. There we are. They say in life, you should never judge a man until you've walked a mile in his shoes. Then at least you're a mile away and you've got his shoes. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, hope you're well, Scotty, your big Raj, Freddy, Dinky, do. How's you and your wife doing? Fine, Brett. Thank you for asking. Here's James. We'll see you. That's the excellent stuff. There we are. That was funny. Uh, I'm going to tell my granddad that. So there we are. I understand where you're coming from, but you can't pick and choose in public life. Well, you can a bit because if you're born into public life,
You can choose not to remain in it, but it's very difficult if you're royal because you tend to get ostracized. There's kind of no middle ground. You know what I mean? And we saw that with poor old Edward VIII. Uh, there we are. There's Kareem and J-Dog having a chat. We like that. Carrot, thank you. Guys, can you all follow me? Very, very important. I need to get the followers up. Thousands of you watch, but only a few hundred follow. So please follow. Don't sort of go, ah, no, 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 all that stuff. You know, because we're bigger than that. MSN, hi, Scotty, how are you? Excellent, MSN, thank you for joining us. And dinky-doo, I say. Scotty, I think you'd be the perfect prince for our great nation. Paula, you say such lovely things. I thank you. What did you think of the interview, Scotty? I thought it was very good. Basic souls, you never, ever, ever, ever ask anyone about their pronouns. That's their business. Uh, missing you on the wireless. Scotland needs another late night talk show. Kevin, wouldn't it be good if you could stick your radio on and we do this? You don't have to look at me, but you could hear the chit chat and phone in. Would that not just be amazing? Do you miss prime time on the radio, Scotty? Uh, yes, I do, but only because of you guys. That's the highlight for me, if you see what I mean. It's a kind of what you'd call a quid pro quo. Fair exchange is no robbery. When people say, what do you like about doing the radio? I say, well, it's, uh, you know, it's the people. Because we do proper talk radio, right? There's a few companies saying that they do talk radio, but they don't really. They just talk at their audience. What's your view on the government? Oh, I have several views on the government. You look like a secret pirate. Yes, but don't tell anybody. Otherwise, I won't be a secret pirate. There we are. Uh, everybody follow us, please, guys. So there we are. Um, asking about pronouns and other daft craps banned on the live. Absolutely, Angie. Good for you. Hello uh, from Northern Ireland, from Derry again. Evelyn, lovely to have you on from Derry. Are you one of the Derry girls? That's great. From the banks of the foil, I say. There we are. Happening, Scotty. Happening. Thank you. Evening from Bomore on Isla, says the wonderful Ali McNeil. Good evening to you. Yes. Slangevar. What side are you on, Scotty, now that you've watched the interview? Well, you see, I don't pick sides at all because I actually see the huge value in the royal family and uh, human frailties doesn't actually come into it unfortunately that's just the way it is and that's why it's a very tough gig her majesty has put in a 75 year shift so there we are and there's no taking money or anything like that they're virtually self-financing i feel megan and harry's son is the one who'll suffer from this poor wee boy, Prince Albert. It's not Prince Albert, it's Prince Archie. So there you are. Fantastic. Good evening from Sheffield in England, my friend. James, we love Sheffield. How fantastic is that? Twice I've lived in Sheffield. Uh, what's Paula saying? Raw family, branch of fraud, Scotty boy. Queen's finished, just a lot of rubbish. Paula, you're just talking complete and utter bunkum. There we are. We've had a monarchy for 2,347 years. There we are. So that's not going to change. I can tell you that. I'm a ton. I'm a dairy girl. Yes, Evelyn Dinky do from Derry. So there we are. The hat. Excellent. Thoughts on Rangers? Well, I don't mind Rangers, but I was shocked at the behavior of the fans. And I think we should ban football. So there we are. Shout out to Lynn, says Gusto. Grimsby here. Harry, we love Grimsby. Do you know the Clee Road? <laughs> so fantastic. Good evening from Sunny Bournemouth, says Lived Dinky Doo to Sunny Bournemouth. We love Bournemouth. Sandbanks. Woo! Fantastic. There we are. Yeah, have you heard of the ball game? Yes, I think it's called football nowadays. Have you ever visited Cork in the city in Ireland? Robert, I know Cork like the back of my hand. One of my favorite places. I love standing at the dock there when the, the river's calm and what have you. What's, what's the river? 
Tell me the actual name of the river running out through Cork there. And then I went up through the town, had afternoon tea in a little tea shop. Beautiful. And then I said to my other half, I said to her, I said, um, darling, um, we'll need to go for the rush hour. Then I realized there's not a rush hour in Cork. <laughs> so there we go. I used to think you were a posh Ned, but you're definitely educated. Thank you, Thomas Buchan. What a lovely thing to say. There we are. Here's Callum. You all right? Hi, how are you? All right, thank you, yeah. Lovely to hear from you, and thank you do. Yeah, how are you? Excellent, Callum. Where are you from? Plymouth. From Plymouth? Oh, we like yeah. it, Plymouth Hall. Yeah, we've been here before. Excellent, yeah, absolutely. We've done all that stuff. Wonderful, beautiful part of the world. Uh, did you see the interview tonight? What an interview. Interview about uh, Prince Harry, you know? No. Did I? no. We were talking about that. Yeah, I'm really? not sure it appeals. Yeah, I'm not sure it really appeals to our younger folk nowadays, to be honest. Not really, not for me. Not really. They've got more important things to do, like watching Scotty McClue on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be sleeping yeah. We love that. Love Hello. Lovely to talk to you, and you take care of yourself. Stay Bye, fabulous. Bye. Cheerio, lad. Top Bye. There we go. In Plymouth. There we are. Evict the Ross, stick him in a council flat. Don't be so silly, Swamin. You're completely missing the point. So there we are. Nothing like the get those Plymouth boy afs is ditton. <laughs> Poor man. It was very, very good. Uh, there we are. Demented. Uh, I'm going to have to ban you. There you are. You're on the wrong game. Shall we ban Demented? Uh, yeah, I think we'll have to. There we go. Well, no, what we'll do, we'll mute him. And then he can watch us, but just can't post any caca. Excellent stuff. There we are. Wonderful. What can I do for you? Hello again, Scotty. Hello, Paraging. A wee bit slow in Plymouth. A little bit, but uh, there we go. Takes all kinds. I'm a fifer that listened to your Scott FM when I was 12. I now live in Lurgan in Northern Ireland. And I'm almost 40 now. Louise, we love it. Fantastic. Great to hear from you. <laughs> Now, wait till we do what you're going to do after the Tiger's gone. Oh, the Tiger's only finishing for the night. What was on the menu tonight? Uh, very good tonight. Just a bit of cheese and toast tonight. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fasting. You know, just I'm trying to lose 20 stone. Good riddance. So there we go. So the 10. So there we go. Okay, man, where are you from? Ban everyone. Scotty, it's a free country. Unmute him. No, no, eh, not on here, Paul. I know we've got rules. We've got standards. Otherwise, the whole thing falls apart. You know, that sort of idea. We'll see how he gets on. So long, farewell. How are you, Scotty? Loving the show. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Hold on a wee second. So there we go. Just till I have a, a quick comfort break because it is absolutely roasting. Here in McClue Towers tonight. Amazing. Roasting hot. I hadn't expected that. So there you are. Uh, so there are. Have you caught many pike in your time? No, I don't actually fish. This reminds me of Scott FM, says Lindsay. Good Lindsay. That was Scotland's finest radio hour. You look like you smoke 10 packs of cigarettes. Uh, I haven't smoked for 22 years. So there you go. I had pasta and meatballs. Very, very good for you. Absolutely. Are you doing the workouts? Oh, yes. Uh, my missus is from Armagh in Northern Ireland, by the way. And I'm an East End of Glasgow boy. Absolutely. What's your favorite song? Ooh, I have so many favorite songs. Please can you be my papa says Melon. Uh, Scotty, can you give us an impression of Yoda from Star Wars? Uh, Yoda. Uh, there we are. 
I can't yodel actually. What's your favorite song? Who so many, so many, so many. Fantastic. Very, very difficult to decide. Guys, can you all follow me, please? Very important. Hello from Loch Kelly. Hello, Sully from Loch Kelly. Dinky do. So there we are. Now there, what have we got here? D Tan, what are you talking about? <laughs> You're talking also do you shoot peasants? I think you mean pheasants. No, I am a crack shot, but I don't shoot. You're probably a million heir. Um, no, I lost my life savings to a fraudster, so there you go. But he had issues. You know, is that uh, Andy Cam on the picture with the black lab? No, that's me. So there we are. Fantastic. Honestly, used to listen to you when I was 10. This is mental. Do you like it, Lindsay? Has it changed or it, does it just sound the same? So there you are. Is it like listening to Scott FM? Is that you in the picture at the back? That's me. Uh, shout out on SoundCloud champ what's the furthest you've jogged oh what's the furthest I've jogged maybe about um, 10 miles something like that just for a, a quick run you see my problem is I'm always very short of time so there we are. So I don't really have time to go running about the street. Hello from Aberdeenshire. But I do wind my own watch. And, uh, you know, I take, uh, the doctor said, eat more fruit, exercise till breathless. So I had a chocolate orange and ran up the stairs. <laughs> Whoever has my clue has the market. Nothing truer than that, Steve James. If you've got Scotty McClue on your radio station, you are number one. That's what causes the problems. You've got to have a very thick hide as a manager to protect Scotty McClue because the competition get very upset when they lose their audience. So there we go. So what do we got here? Uh, what filter are you using? Um, just one of the... Um, the filters for the water. Do you know what I mean? Uh, do you know you can't breathe through your nose and talk at the same time? Why would you want to? So there you are. So there we are. You sound exact same as Lindsay. Thanks, Lindsay. Why do your cheeks keep going different shapes while I'm playing the bagpipes while I'm talking? What university did you graduate from? Glasgow, the finest university in the world. So there we are, Glasgow Ennis. So 10 miles, nearly a half a marathon. <coughs> well, there used to be a chocolate bar called a marathon. And somebody said to me, um, could you do a half marathon? And I said, I could eat the whole bar. So there we go. See what I just did there? <laughs> I just sent 1.3K likes. Thank you, Zavera. No way, Scotty. That picture is so like Andy. See, I know Andy. Yes, a fine fellow. There we go. Now, love you being on more, says Louise. Um, hey, Scotty, settle the big debate. Who should play the next James Bond? I think I should have a crack at it but they might not let me keep the beard. But uh, because I'm in fantastic shape, I could jump off the trains and parachute out the aircraft and all that sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? And um, mind you, I might make quite a good James Bond baddie. There, uh, you know, McClue. <laughs> We're chasing McClue. Hello, Scotty. It's Paula again. Can you do an impression of Yoda from Star Wars? Oh, Paula, no, no, no. That's one I've denied myself. So there you are. So what have we got here? Um, Thomas says, you come here too. Everybody's here. Hi, pal, says Reese. Hi, Reese. Thank you, do. Scotty, do you like the Bee Gees? I love the Bee Gees. Absolutely. Top comedy, says Sarah. So there we are. We do our best, Sarah. Fantastic. Dinky too. <laughs> so there we are. Any Cheltenham tips, mate? Yes. Stay in the house and uh, hide your newspaper and uh, watch an old movie instead. Save your money. So there you are. I once backed a horse 20 to 1. It came in at half past three. Scotty has got the banter, a pure legend. I used to, uh, you know, send a lot of money to sick animals, but I didn't know they were sick when I backed them. 
<laughs> I once backed a horse and it unfortunately fell in the paddock. So there we are. The marathon bars now. Snickers love the band to keep it up. You'd be a perfect James Bond. There we go. Money Penny. There's nobody I would rather spend time with than I just don't have the time. <laughs> I could take my bonnet and fling it when I go to see M and hope it landed on the, the coat hook, the bonnet hook. <laughs> Scotty, you made my night, by the way. Thomas, you're a top man. I thank you. There we are. Fantastic. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Woo! We love it. Thank you, Deaton. Dinky do. Fantastic. Say hi to Jason. So there, SW. You need to grow up. Let's. What shall we do with SW, guys? Shall we mute him? Yeah, let's mute him. Let's mute him for being a dirty, filthy midden. There we go. He's gone. Uh, Scotty, what's your thoughts on the thugs who wrecked the benches at George Square? Shocking. Shocking, shocking. But I've heard that some Ranger supporters are trying to crowdfund to have them replaced. Why would you wreck a memorial bench? Yes, somebody that lost their life in the bin lorry crash and a bench to them in George Square. Fellow Glaswegians, why would you do that? Do you like the Proclaimers? Yes, Craig and Charlie, excellent people. I've been very privileged to have met them. So there we are. I'm confused. What's happening? I don't know, Steve. I'm very confused. I don't know what's happening at all here. Can you do an impression of a frog? Any good? So there we are. Fantastic. Stroking a wild hangers with a witty one-liner to bond. Absolutely. So there we go. And uh, saying, you seem to have knobbly neeps. <laughs> have you been to Newfoundland? No, but my friend had a Newfoundland dog. So I don't know where he'd found it. But uh, no, I haven't. I would love to come to Newfoundland. I'd love to go to Halifax and Nova Scotia. All these fantastic places. There we are. I was talking to my cousin last night who's in Canada, uh, and he was celebrating his 75th birthday. Amazing. There we are. So who have we got here? Can you do an impression of Michael Jackson? Do you know, when I was doing my impressions, you couldn't tell us apart. My moonwalk is outstanding. How are you, lad? <laughs> Hello, man. How are you, top man? I'm good, boss. How are you? I hope you've got your hood up and you're keeping nice and warm. <laughs> it's a all good in the hood, I say. Hello, good sir. So there we are. Neve, dinky do. Hello, Sarah. Lovely to have you with us. Now, guys, please, for goodness sake, let me just check this here to see what stage we're at. Uh, so there we go. Wonderful. Now, uh, can you all subscribe to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel? Can you see that? So it's youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one is the important bit. But please go on and subscribe, right? We need about a dozen of you to subscribe. Why did your face just flip? It does that occasionally, Sarah. I just flip. You know, I took gymnastics for anger management. And on the first night, I flipped. You know, fantastic. So who have we got here? Dinky do, Scotty says, Luke, dinky do, Luke. I uh, don't know what the fund is at now, but Rangers fans will replace the benches. I hope so, Thomas. So there we are. Can you show us your moonwalk? Well, uh, top half only. Are you ready? Okay, is that all right? 
There we go, dinky do. I will die of laughter if you do. So there we go. Scotty, I found you when I was about 14 on the radio and you cut me off because I was too young. Absolutely, Paul. And so I should have done. I did the right thing. I'd be protecting you. Amazing, Scotty. It's says managing. Scotty, there's more problems than benches if you ask me, buddy. Well, ban football. That's what the thing. Martin, of course I miss. Absolutely. Scotty, you're a legend. That was a great top half moonwalk. Absolutely, because the first words when the astronauts saw the moon were actually, no way could a cow jump over that. There we are. So, fantastic. Uh, the behaviour in Glasgow was a disgrace and an embarrassment to Scotland, says Mousik. Absolutely. Now, guys, I've uploaded a lot of superb TikToks for you. Watch them all. God save the Queen, says Akil. Absolutely. Get back on the radio, bro. I need to, bro. Definitely. Sorry, quick comfort break. Whoa. It is hot in McClue Towers, and I don't understand why. So there we are. Dinky do. Is Peggy on it? Is that Peggy Sue? Scotty, what do you think of the turmoil? Oh, just turmoil and turmoil. You know, I mean, what do you do? Thoughts on the interview with Harry and Meghan? I quite enjoyed it, and I thought it was very, very interesting. And I don't think the royal family came across badly at all. There was a bit of she said, he said, but you could see that Harry was very, very appreciative of his grandmother. First time viewer here, Scotty, give me a dinky do. Ross, you're very welcome. A big dinky do to you. Have you been sneezing anymore? No. Guys, watch the last live. Where is it? About halfway through. I took a sneezing fit tonight and popped up. So there we go, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. So they are ban the Rangers thugs, they've no emotions and no hearts. Well, they're certainly not from hearts. They didn't come across badly. Uh, they were accused of being racist. Yeah, but they're not. You know, I mean, I think that's the whole thing. There's too much made of all this. Oh, that's racist, that's racist. There is only one race, the human race. And I think the best way to combat racism would be not to go mentioning colour, you know, not to be standing up and say, you know, I want to be the same as you, but do you know what colour I am? Don't mention it. Just this is James. Hi, James. So there we go. Uh, Megan won't be, oh, Jackie, for goodness sake. That is shocking. So there we are. Terrible thing to say. Shocking. I won't ban you, but you need to grow up. So there we are. Uh, who have we got? The first Cameronians to skin the Scottish Rifles, called after Richard Cameron, Douglas Tartan, disbanded in 1969, and their last commanding officer was uh, Lieutenant Colonel Leslie Dow. Their march passed as Castle Dangerous, and they march at 140 paces to the minute. There we are. And they're based out in Douglas and Lanarkshire, or they were. Evening, Scotty. So there we go. Uh, no, Thomas, I don't drink alcohol at all. So there we are. Um, and I'm not very keen on Jack Frost either. Uh, Scotty, do you know? Yes, yes, I know all these people. will not mention names, folks. That's not the thing to do, Martin. I think you do have subscribed to Scotty McClue. Thank you for that on the YouTube channel. Just put in, um, you know, can you do a peace and pout face? There we are. Hello, everybody. So what happened with Megan? Very interesting. No, just a bit of chit-chat, you know, but it wasn't all the explosive stuff that uh, you'd be expecting. So the papers will really have to struggle to make something out of that, I think. But it was interesting. No, I don't drink alcohol, Charlie, so I wouldn't be trying any of that. Do you know what I mean? You know, if you want a real high ever, have nothing, and then you will be, woo! <laughs> woo! Your people say to me, what are you at? You know, I think, no, absolutely nothing. Celtic, so she was, or Celtic, Scotty the monarchy are outdated, out of touch, and not needed. Martin Boyle, I've never heard so much nonsense 
in one sentence in all my life. The monarchy are absolutely pivotal. Our symbol of authority in this country is the crown. The monarchy are the custodians and curators of it. So there you are. And after 2,347 years of monarchy will not be changing. They did try it once. Uh, so there, do you think Piers Morgan overreacted about Meghan? I'll come back to you on that one. So there we are, dinky-doo. Uh, who else have we got here? Fantastic. Now, guys, please, uh, can you read this? Look, this is it here. You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, live at TikTok, Scotty McClue. Follow, like, share, enjoy all the videos, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And uh, if you can follow me, please do, because it's a terrific help. Sorry to let you know, but nobody wakes up in the morning and swears allegiance to the Queen. Everybody does, Martin. That's the reason we've got the Scottish Parliament, because Nicola had to swear allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen. So everybody, it's a kind of unspoken thing that everybody in the Commonwealth, in this con four countries, Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, Wales, they wake up and swear allegiance to the Queen. Absolutely, yes, indeed. If removed all the laws, there'd be no criminals. <laughs> Parroting, very, very interesting, yes. There we are. All right, mate, says Michael. All right, Michael. What did you graduate in, says Billy? Arts, Billy, arts. I'm an arts man. There we are, fantastic. So there we go. Get yourself verified on TikTok. You meet all the criteria. Max, what does that mean? You'll have to excuse my ignorance, but I've only been doing this for about uh, a couple of weeks. So there we are. How do you get verified? What do you do? What do you say? And what does it mean? So there we are. I swear allegiance to Lionel Messi. So there you are. Well, Ross, that's the thing. Yes, in addition to the Queen. Quite right. I love the Queen. Everybody loves the Queen. There we are. It's just some people have had their, their heads stuffed with nonsense. You know, education is power. Knowledge is power, Thomas. Good man. Absolutely. Correct. So there we are. Uh, Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. No, you can swear allegiance to both, Deaton. Nobody would mind that, you know. There we are. Hey, hey man, Arita, Arisa, you're from Newcastle, like, eh? Uh, I swear allegiance to Scotty McClure. Yes, well, everybody does. That goes without saying. My goodness me. So there, I swear allegiance to no queen. Who's no queen? Do you mean Mac Queen or something like that? Yes, everybody swears allegiance to the Queen. It's just what we do as people. Scott is, uh, Scotland's a better country than England. No, not necessarily. You see, I mean, they're all good countries that make up the UK. It's just Scotland doesn't want to be run from Westminster, and it wants to keep its own money. Have you ever been to China, China? No, China, I haven't been to China, but uh, I've been invited to go to China. Fantastic. And I would say, Hud ha, me ha. Do you not think the royals are trapped in the institution? Well, of course, it's a tough gig, but they do a fantastic job. And uh, they're virtually self-financing. They bring in fortunes. I think the Queen's just paid $92 million in tax, somebody told me. And they bring in a couple of billion. Tourism brings in $210 billion. So the royals are big, big, big givers to the four countries in the UK. You do TikTok dances. Uh, I haven't done one recently, Neve. you know. Is COVID a conspiracy? Story? No, no, I think COVID's absolutely real. I would have been suspicious if it had been just one country and the rest of the world was fine. But no, there's nothing to be gained unless you're, uh, you know, very, very wealthy and you're doing a lot of PPE and things like that. Um, but no, COVID's, COVID's not good at all in any way, shape or form for anybody. So I would say definitely not. So there we are. God save the Queen. What do you think of the Queen? Well, everybody loves the Queen. So they are Ross. We can't say that, I'm afraid. Can't make comments like that. 
So take that down, please, as that's not what we're on here. Uh, the Daz man, you need to grow up. You really need to grow up. If you think that anybody is a simp like you who's going to fall for something as crass, rude, and offensive as that, you're on the wrong TikTok lala. So get yourself away or clean up your act. That's what I say. Uh, have you ever seen the film Go? So there are, I've got some goals. Knowledge is power, says Algy. Uh, Secret or Celtic or Rangers asks, it's your grand, it's your grand, what you'd be best to do? Go and see both teams and then decide on which one you like most. And remember, you can change. You don't have to be one or the other. Uh, Roos will just ban you for life. Roos is gone. Shout bye-bye, Roos. Wonderful. <coughs> End of Roos. There we go. Guys, remember, if you put any nonsense or any cacaos on it that you've gone. Uh, Martin says, Scotty, you've turned into a snowflake. Aren't as ruthless as you were in the old days. Martin, uh, has it escaped your notice that we don't have the phones, right? So we're having a chit-chat with some nice people. Uh, you had a battered Mars bar. No, but somebody did get quite angry with one. Uh, so there we are. Have you ever watched The Chase? I have. I quite like The Chase, actually. I like the old chaser there. Uh, you guys need to become independent. I think so, Michael, yes. And then we will see what is what. Ooh, we've only got two minutes. Now, Mr. Two Foot Tackle, no way would we ever, ever, ever condone any terrorist organization. So just take that down and remember that you're just, just kidding yourself. That's all gone years ago, right? So there we are. Uh, I, I swear the Queen is the best band next to Runrig. <laughs> Fantastic. You're Doug, you're spelling it wrong. 210 billion. You're dizzy. 210 billion pounds. Brexit, Brexit has cost us 200, over 200 billion pounds to date with nothing to show for it. So there you go, bud. Fantastic. What's your favourite order from the chippy? Well, the other night I had two pieces of fish and a large chips. Absolutely gorgeous. The Queen's been a perfect example to everyone what all her life. So there we are for this union. No, not for the union, Thomas. She's worked all her life for the four countries of the UK. There we are. That's the way to look at it. You mustn't confuse. The union was a much later thing. It's 1707. The crowns united in 1603. So there's 104 years of difference. Sarah, you're going back in the 19th, says Neve. Scotty, you've given in to the snowflake generation. You aren't as with Martin. I never, ever give in to anyone. Okay, cookie. Fantastic. Scottish independence. Bye-bye, says everybody. So there we are. Mr. Two-Foot Tackle, you are just bad news. Uh, people like you caused so much trouble within your own organization and split it right down the middle. And there's deep, 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 deep shame about that. So we'll just get rid of you. There he goes, half-wit. Okay. Right, she's off, guys. Block. Block. Shocking. Shocking disgrace. There we are. He'll not be back. Fantastic. Now, uh, where are you from? I'm from Scotland. So there we are. Charlie is our next king, correct? So there we go. Who have we got here? Um, Prince Scotty McClure. <laughs> I'm very kind of you. Right, it's after midnight, guys. I must dash off. Lovely being with you. Look at all the videos, please. Follow me. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live on TikTok. Just for you. We are the big ones. Uh, Rangers and Celtic, watch them both, I say. So there we are. Excellent stuff. And uh, we'll all catch up again soon. Take great care of yourself. This is Scotty McClure saying to every single one of you, thanks for watching. Good night. God bless. And ta-ra-la's!